Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we discuss discuss about the concept of uh, how to build the records of the brand here. In this class, I'm going to teach how to edit the records. Okay, okay. Let's back to our lessons here. Here first, before I'm going to edit the record, here I'm going to create the table structure of the sorry the folder structure of the uh, PHP folder structure here. Here, uh, this is the these are belongs to add category and all category and remove category edit return these are belongs to the category uh, folder so we let's create another folder as here as category so we have to easily identify the files category dot p sorry category this folder mean category folder inside the ph folder i have created the new folder as category you have to just drag this these things at category you have to drag here click ok after that all category edit return remove category after that update cat update .php, this one this update category right you can simply you can look like this after that you have to click on the uh, PHP folder right click new directory here you have to make another folder as a brand folder very easy stuff brand folder here brand here what I'm going to do is you have to drag and put on the these files you drag and put on this folder just click this drag and put on the this folder it is asking you have to click ok right now we, we can easily if you want to go to the brand uh, brand uh, page you just go to the php and here php it's kind of consists of two folders one is a, a category folder and another folder is brand folder the brand table the brand folder consists of all the related file of brands Category folder consists of all the related folder of uh, pages of category. Okay, you can easily identify. Okay, if you put all the steps one folder, it is very difficult stuff to uh, find the files. Okay, now what I'm going to do is here. If you run this one, here there will be the problem because we have to set the path. So what I'm going to do is here. PHP inside the php folder you have to put in the folder what is the folder you have to put brand brand that's the thing you have to put brand the same thing you have to put here as well add dot php as well brand inside the php folder you have to put the brand here right. that's the stuff you have to do right okay right just copy this one after that i have to do the another go back to our category also here uh, here also we have to change it mm, here this is a category folder category php the same thing you have to do as the add dot php as well category inside the category, category folder there will be the file and dot category the same thing you have to this thing you have just copy this one and put us here as well right after that uh, right right here as well And delete the till page as well. Right. Now we save save all this stuff. Now let's run this the page whether it's working or not. Now it's working successfully. Now the brand is not successfully you have to category is not what happened? Category is not loaded. What happened is
category dot id page is correct php sorry this is a category spelling wrong now it's okay now it's okay now let's refresh the page Sarah, you just right click and go to impact you can find there what is what is the error of this one uh, here right 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 here the db is a problem dbb database connection there is a problem in the here you have to create the db uh, outside the php folder here uh, what i'm going to do is now you just cut the db.php page and paste inside the php folder click ok it is paste inside the php folder now you will be able to access the connection successfully here uh, this one and dot php here it will be able to receive the connection here I, uh, uh, okay let's check whether it's working or not now here if you refresh it now here the folder will be the uh, data table will be successfully loaded successfully now uh, let's uh, do the edit part let's back to our brand page so here when the user click edit button this edit button what happened is here I wrote here this one will be the edit button when the user click edit button the on click method here inside the on click method i wrote the uh, get brand details okay it goes to this uh, method which name is get brand details along with this id okay so i just copy this function name i have to paste here. this one will be the uh, get category details instead of get category details we have to paste here okay after that this is the id it's coming from this id it's coming okay this step we discuss about deeply in our category tutorials after that this is the php page here it's not php here uh, brand dot brand re edit return so we have to same page we have to create here as well so uh, select the folder brand right click new here i'm going to create the file as edit return dot php this page we have to create have to create now what i'm going to do is go go to the uh, category folder and select the double click and open the edit return page here and copy this page completely coil you just copy this one and paste on the edit return dot php on uh, brand uh, brand page here you have to paste it here just paste it here what I'm going to do is here. Here I have to type the table names, table name properly and table columns properly here. This one for category, this one for uh, brand. So here you have to type as a brand. Here you have to get the brand table. This one, this data you have to get here. Brand ID here, brand name, brand. We are the ID, okay. The stuff is clear. After that, this one for coming from where the same brand. This ID, this ID is coming where this ID. This ID here we have to change uh, change it as we have to. If you want to change, we have to change it as here as brand ID. Not category. It's a brand ID. Brand ID. Just copy this one and then you just copy paste here it's a brand ID 
okay after that here is that id right that's the only thing we have to do this is two things we have to change this is for uh, brand name this is a status this is coming from these fields are set here this one this brand this one here this is status that's it okay this function i already discussed what is the meaning of this stuff is uh, how to work this ajax function all the stuff in my category uh, tutorial and those who are not watching this stuff please uh, watch my earlier tutorial which is a category credit system please watch and come back to this tutorial you will be able to catch up the lessons okay now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to the, these records are coming from from this page edit return dot php page this page so we have to this id mean here this id is brand id okay brand id the brand id yeah this one we call it as brand brand copy this one and paste here the three fields are copy paste here and make it as a variable make it as variable here we have what i am going to do is here just copy this one here paste here this one for brand this one for brand okay now let's let's save on this one and the same brand just copy this one and go to the brand dot php paste here okay now you see, save it here now go to the brand tab this is the brand page the page will be successfully loading if you click edit button here you will be able to here get the data here here what does is what does is when the user click edit button when the user click edit button you here there will be the id here two this two mean this id this id belongs to the brand ag so what happen is uh, happen here is when the user click edit button uh, here this one this is the method on click method this method will be calling along with the id two it's it goes to the function here this function put into the id2 after that i wrote one uh, inside the ajax function first is type post after that this is the url i'm going to post the values this id i'm going to post what is the type i'm going to post json format i am to post the values this is the data uh, brand id id mean this id set into here so it's assigned to the brand id here so this id goes to edit return page this this link here this go here edit return here so here put into here set into this variable so set into this variable here this variable into pass in pass here uh, what is the value coming from the brand id what is the value id coming from the brand uh, dot php page put into here uh, match with the record is display this match with the match with the id uh, record will be display and set into here set into here this variables three variables set into here and here i am going to put as a json format as key and value these values the match with matching value is i am setting to json format this is a brand status and id this one will be the value this one will be the key the the matching value will be i am going to set here as a uh, value here these are the keys these keys i am going to again passing to this brand page the matching value i am passing to brand page here i am going to set it as a brand here status this one will be coming from which page this page this the key this key i am going to set it here okay this where it's going to display these fields these two fields display these two fields display and again 
I already explained this stuff in my category tutorials as well. Here I am going to call in the is new equal false. What, what is the meaning of this? I, I explained in my uh, category tutorial as well. This one means is new uh, true mean when the record when the, when the user had new record it will be true this is not a new record because it is already the record will be exist in the data table this already exists in the table you have to edit the record so that is new as i make it as false this is the meaning of this okay i hope you guys you enjoy my tutorial uh, please get in my upcoming tutorial as well thank you for watching